Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Talk Bricks, where I bring you the latest in LEGO news and reviews. Michael here, and I'm so excited we bring you guys a Marvel Super Heroes Mighty Micros review. Today, of course, we have set number 76064, Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin. This set has 85 pieces and retails for $9.99. The Mighty Micros line features two Mighty characters in two micro vehicles. But before we get too far into the set, let's talk about everyone's favorite part, the minifigures. And here we have our two minifigures, with Spider-Man on the left and Green Goblin on the right. They both feature short legs and a far simplified version of their torso prints. Both of these figures have some really fun face prints, but I especially love the one on Spider-Man. From the side, we can see their two accessories. On the left, Spider-Man has a camera, and Green Goblin has a pumpkin bomb, which has printing on the front and back. We also get a great look at the headpiece on Green Goblin. And from the back, we can see a nice continuation of the print from the front. Here we have Spider-Man's vehicle, which is actually a helicopter. I really like this vehicle as it features a fun design reminiscent of one that we got a Lego set of. At the front of the vehicle we have one headlight as well as flick fire missiles on each side. And this is the only vehicle out of the whole line that has weapons that can fire. From the back we can see a great look at the shaping that creates the rear fin. Just behind Spidey we have the propeller which can of course be spun. Spider-Man sits in this curved blue section and from the side we get a great look at how the helicopter shape comes together. Green Goblin's vehicle is meant to represent his glider and I think this is accomplished pretty well. From the front we can see the wings that come off at the side to create that iconic shape. At the very front we see the orange headlights and those green angled pieces which I think really represent the look from the comics. From the back we can see those gray grate pieces as well as two rear exhausts. Green Goblin sits behind a large windshield piece and from the side we can see how the overall curves and angles create a nice shape. And here we have everything back together for my final thoughts. The Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin set is a really nice one. These Mighty Micros are very unique as they are meant to represent air-based vehicles. Plus, both minifigures are unique and I love Green Goblin's accessory. But those are just my thoughts about the set and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Let me know, what did you think of the set and will you be picking it up? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Did you miss out on any of my Mighty Micros reviews? Click on this annotation to watch the complete playlist. And don't forget to subscribe.